Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 25th of November. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Appen, PWR Holdings, Lake Resources, Magellan Financial and Wilson Iron. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter, but if you want my best ideas, you need to get the Dynamic Investor Report that comes out every Tuesday. But if you do enjoy these videos, we'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is in portfolio management, so if you'd like to have a broking account set up with us and, and have me advise you when to buy and when to sell, then please let me know. And all the advice here is general only. So as we could see with Appen, it is still clearly in an overall downtrend. So we've still got the, the lower highs and the lower lows. Um, most recently it has been moving higher. So obviously it's been starting to look better, you know, with this, this sort of recovery here. Um, but still, still too early to be buying. I'd really like to see it get above these you know, these, these peaks here, so call it about $15. I think if it can edge higher and then break above here, app and trading up here uh, is, is a lot more positive looking than, um, than this at the moment, which is still downtrending. Okay, PWH, which is PWR Holdings. You know, great performance, you know, if we go back to uh, sort of last year, early this year, there was very clear resistance here. We had this big sideways consolidation and then we had the break and retest here in February. So if you'd bought on that classic sort of break and retest, um, you, would, you would have done very well. Um, it's trended nicely. Just most recently though, um, despite it's still trending higher, there is a lot of extra volatility which um, is a bit of a concern. So, you know, big sharp pullback here. So instead of these nice little ones, we've got this big sharp pullback, then it launched higher, um, and then another sharp pullback. So here it's a bit of a concern that it's just managed to go to a new high, and then was sold down heavily, and has struggled ever since. So I think this is a sign that it, it's gonna decline for the time being, probably head back towards $8 and, and retest that. Okay, Lake Resources. So, I mean, most recently there was a classic sort of sideways consolidation here and then a break. Um, we had this in our Dynamic Investor Report, the report I send out every Tuesday. So, you know, we looked at this, this breakout um, and as we could see, uh, it had a good run. But clearly over the last few weeks, um, it's, it's, it's pulled back fairly deeply now. So it's a bit too risky to be buying. I mean, if you're buying it here, You've got support here, resistance here. So the risk reward at the moment's not, not very good. What we need to see is for this to get a bit more of a base going. So if we could see something like this develop again, that would be ideal. Otherwise we need a massive sort of reversal on volume uh, and then you might have a quick trade. But I think at these levels, it's too risky to be buying now. Okay, Magellan, so also we've got one that's in a, in a downtrend. It's coming back near the, the COVID lows, so it's retesting that. I mean, most recently we could see, look, it did have a nice bounce off those lows, um, and then it's given us a flat consolidation. So this, this is a good sign. I mean, it's, I think it's too early to be buying, but um, you know, it is a positive sign to see that after a bounce, it can just consolidate sideways, small ranges, low volume. So you'd be waiting for some sort of breakout here. I mean, ideally it needs to get through this October high. So if we, if we do get a break from here and it gets through that October high, then that's a tentative buy. But at the moment, we've still got the downtrend. I think it's too risky to be preempting it. Okay, and Horson's Iron. So, as I've sort of pointed out a number of times, um, you know, a number of small cap stocks have had similar profiles over the last year where there was a end of last year or early this year, a bit of a massive spike up on volume. 
and then they've just pulled back um, and sort of base built on, on smaller volumes. So we've got that here. So this is a, a very good setup actually. So we've got the pullback, base build, small ranges, hardly any volume. And then the break, initial breakout here a couple of days ago on increasing volume. So that would have been your first buy signal. Um, but the conf I think this move yesterday was confirmation. So this was a stronger buy signal, basically a bigger move, close on the high, increased volume, taking out this 10 cent resistance line. So it now looks like it's broken out of the base um, and it should just continue on here. I mean, obviously there's a, there is a chance that it, it falls back into the base, but the probabilities are this kicks on uh, and I think you'd probably get some some resistance here at uh, 16 cents. All right, well, that's all for this week. Um, as always, if you have a request, send it through and I'll try to include your one next Thursday.